Hello there. I'm here today to talk a little bit about the Kodak ZI8 camera that PEPS has for checkout uh, at Carleton College in the Idea Lab. Uh, the camera is a marvelous little toy here. As you can see, it's a very small little slab type camera. It has very few settings that can, you can get confused. And we'll just kind of go through all the basics first. If the basics are enough for you, you'll be able to stop watching the video. Uh, and if the, the basics are not enough, or if the video is weird, or if there's some kind of thing happening, or if you want to know about some of the more advanced settings in the camera, then continue watching the tutorial from when I say stop. Um, after I've said stop, I'll go into a little bit more of the in-depth menu settings, etc. Uh, so let's take a little look at this camera and talk about the basics. As with most PEPS gear, all of our cameras come with uh, bags and extra little accessories, so I just want to talk about what actually comes with the camera. Uh, the camera itself comes with the camera, obviously. Um, if we open up this little slidey thing, there's a battery included inside of the camera. Put that back on. There's also, inside of the bag, an extra battery, because the batteries unfortunately only last about an hour, so if you want to shoot something longer than an hour, you're going to need an extra battery. All the cameras also come with this wall adapter. It has a little USB plug, typical plug on there, and this big giant cable. This is for actually charging the battery. You charge the battery in the camera itself, and you'll notice on the tag here, it actually has a little do not use on a computer. That's because it looks like a USB, it looks normal, but it's actually not for use with a computer. What it's for is for plugging into the adapter. So basically you plug in there, take the little adapter. On the side here is an actual AC port. Plug that in, plug this into the, the wall and it'll charge the battery that's inside the camera. Uh, we give you two batteries, so technically if you want to charge both of them, you'd have to wait for this one to charge and then take it out of here and put the other battery in and then wait for it to charge. Uh, but they should come to you fully charged when you check it out from PEPS. It also comes with a case. On the case, you'll see that we actually have a bag tag. This uh, just basically says what it is. It's a digital camera. Um, and on the back, it'll show that it has a case. It has this long cable we talked about, the charger, the camera. Um, a lot of our Kodak ZI8s come with these cool little mini tripods that you can actually put the camera onto. So you can actually, has a little tripod mount in the bottom, just screws on like a normal camera, and you have yourself a nice little standing camera. Inside of the camera is an SD card. Let me just kind of pop this out so you can see where it is. There's the SD card, is it right there? If I go in here, pull it out, there's a 16 gigabyte card in there. Um, this is something to keep in mind. We do know that it's a 16 gigabyte card that we put in these things. Um, if you bring back the camera, we look at this and it's a 512K card, um, we'll yell at you because these aren't cheap. Thank you, just keep that in mind. We know all at Peps. Uh, the really cool thing about this camera, when you're talking about, well, why does it have that weird USB power adapter, but how do I plug it into the computer when I want to get stuff off of it? Well, that's pretty simple, actually. It has this really cool little guy here. If I push this up, voila, there is the USB for this camera. The nice thing about the Kodak ZI8s is you just plug them into the computer when they're off, and you can they show up as little hard drives that you can drag the video files right out of them and start working on your editing or putting them up on YouTube or Facebook or what have you. So that's kind of your standardized uh, tour of the little camera. So let's talk about just the real simple things first, and then we'll give you some time to decide whether or not you want to keep watching. So I've showed you where the battery goes. Uh, the power button is on the side. It looks like it's standardized power. Push it, it turns red, camera turns on. And voila, we have a couple of different choices here. Um, the buttons across the back are settings, trash, camera and play, so the camera gives you choices. There's a little button here, a little nipple, that you can switch sideways and choose different types of shooting. Um, with 16 gigabytes in here, you'll notice that if we set it on WVGA, I probably should do this for you, WVGA gives us four hours and 15 minutes of movie. If we turn it to 720p, which is getting slightly high def, um, it goes down to 2 hours and 37 minutes. If we do the 60 frames per second, 720, you get 2 hours and 7 minutes. 
And if you go all the way to 1080p, you only get two hours and 16 minutes. Now, I'll be really honest, folks. For anything you're doing for Carlton, uh, generally it's for web video and or for a class assignment or something like that. Um, you really don't need to shoot in high definition. It's better to shoot in wide VGA on this camera because you'll have a lot more recording time, you'll be able to make more takes, and frankly, uh, we don't want to host a whole bunch of high def footage at Carlton, so try to keep it on what WVGA. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about with the basic setting is basically how to shoot. Um, it's pretty simple. You push the red button and it records things. It has a little cone tied up here and you can see that it's actually now recording things. I can move it around, Ooh, taking video. It actually has a little red button that lights up uh, so people know that you're shooting video of them. And isn't that cool? I'm taking a picture of the picture. This might be really neat video. Who knows? Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to stop recording now. I stop recording by pushing the red button again and it's made a video. Now to view the video, we actually just push the play button. Here's my video. If I push the red button again, So as you can see, it actually just a little video recording and we can view them. Um, if I want to throw that away, I push the trash button. It actually lets me then I toggle down to trash with the red thing. Hit yes, and now it's trashed that video. Um, so now it's, that's basically it. That's the basics. If you uh, are shooting things and things are going wrong, or if you want to know a little bit more about this video, keep watching. Otherwise, uh, have fun with the PEPS equipment and good luck. Okay, you're still here. So let's talk a little bit about some of the settings in this little ca camera. Um, if I push the settings button, you'll see there's a whole bunch of different choices. Uh, there's a date and time setting. Right now, the, the date is 2009, uh, October 25th. That's not right, actually. Today's date is uh, much later than that. We're in 2012 now. So, you know, we've had these cameras for a little while. Um, I'm not going to worry about that, though. I'm just going to keep moving. It has different sorts of settings. It has NTSC or PAL. Um, NTSC is video for America. PAL is video for pretty much everywhere else in the world. Um, it doesn't matter if you're shooting web video. It has an exposure setting, uh, dark, bright, and auto-regular. Um, you're going to want to leave it on auto-regular. I'm showing you that simply in case something is going horribly wrong with your video. Check that setting. Um, it has audio, um, loud, quiet. Microphone, um, it actually has a little meter. You can actually record that and see if the meter is doing well. If it's getting red, it's bad. Um, so you want to make sure that the video, the audio is right around there. Um, this also is something that can control an external uh, microphone if you plug one in. And I can show you that a little bit later. EIS, I have no idea what that means. Info, this is just telling you what uh, version the thing is and um, serial number. This is uh, to reformat the SD card. This is always a good thing to do. Um, the reason one would do that is because it erases everything that was formerly on there and it clears off the SD card as much as possible. That's always a pleasant thing. And finally, it has um, focus on people. So it'll look for things like, you know, your typical oblate spheroid, meaning head, face recognition, and focus on it. So those are all the different little settings in the main setting thing. Um, like I talked before, you have a couple of different settings. Uh, this is actually, the camera is for still pictures. So this will just make about, I think it's a five megapixel still picture. Um, as with all things, it's meant to be a video camera. It can make still pictures. I don't know why you'd do that. We actually have still cameras for checkout if you're gonna do still. Um, but actually, if you're going on a, a school trip somewhere and you want to have one device that can do everything, the Kodak Z-I8s are perfect for that because you can make still pictures, they're decent still pictures, and you can make video, which is awesome. Who else wants to do anything except make video, right? Again, wide VGA just means wide angle standard definition video. Um, it gives you the most space on your card and it's really, really great. Um, it looks good, trust me, it doesn't have to be high def. And frankly, we don't have Blu-ray burners or readers on Carleton's campus anyway, so um, shooting in high def is just crazy. Crazy talk. Um, that's really about it for this camera. We do actually include different cool things. 
and I can show them to you. Um, okay, there is a couple of little things that one can add to this camera to make a little bit of a better shooting experience, and that would be a microphone. Why would you do that? Well, because, frankly, the one thing people don't realize about video is that the better it sounds, uh, the less it bothers people. Uh, so what we do actually have for Checkout at Peps is a microphone. It's a mini shotgun condenser mic. It's really good. Um, inside of it, we always have to make sure there's a battery. You should have a fresh battery every time you get one from us at Peps. And on the side, it has volume control, uh, quiet or loud. Um, just leave it on loud because it kind of needs that. And it has an on and off button. Um, here's one trick with these little uh, microphones is that if you have it off and you have it plugged into a camera, there will be no audio whatsoever. It just doesn't do audio whatsoever. So you always have to make sure it's on uh, with these things. The light will flash quickly once we turn it on. And if it doesn't, oh, there it went. If it doesn't do that little flash, then it means the battery's dead and you want to put a new one in there. Um, to use these with a Kodak ZI-8, it's pretty simple. It actually has on the side a little plug that looks, it says, has actually a microphone symbol underneath it. Plug that in there. And it's going to now record from this. So if I go into the camera, it just shut down on me. If I go into the settings and go over to the microphone, let's just make sure this is actually having sound. Is there any sound? Hello, hello. I can actually turn it up. There we go. And I don't, yep, there it goes. So it does have actually sound. Um, of course, this would be kind of awkward to walk around like this. Uh, so what we also include at PEPS, which is pretty cool, are these things called flash brackets. Um, why they're nice is that you basically just screw this puppy on the bottom. Sideways, obviously. And then there's room for you to put a microphone. You have to do it from the front backwards, obviously. There you go. So now, actually, this is a really good little shooting rig. Um, it looks a little bit strange, but actually it'll be really good audio. It'll make good video, and that's what's important. You want to make good video. Um, even though you have a flash bracket on here, it actually still does have a tripod mount, so you can still put on a tripod and go to town um, with this cool little video camera. So this is kind of nice because you can set this up in class, have it recording the teacher doing whatever they're doing, and it's all set and ready to go. So that's why this stuff all comes, it's all stuff you have to ask for, it doesn't come included, but you are more than welcome to ask for this at PEPS and we can check it out to you. Um, that's kind of the final end of this uh, advanced tutorial about how to use this stuff. Um, if you have any more questions, just pop into PEPS over at the White Center for Creativity uh, at the Idea Lab, and we can show you even more about these little fun cameras. Um, that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.